Yeah, so we're here at the Dairy Master Tent now with John. Hi Brian, yes, uh, you're very welcome here. So we're delighted to be here the, the first day of the Ploughing Championships 2023. So my name is John Daly, I'm Head of Research and Innovation with Dairy Master. So we're an Irish manufacturer of dairy equipment, dairy automation equipment. Um, we're based in Kerry. We, my, our products include uh, milking parlour systems, uh, equipment for feeding, uh, milk cooling and slurry handling, as well as health and fertility monitoring, all backed up by modern dairy farm management software. Yeah, and I suppose, so it's the first day to plough and it's a little bit wet outside. What can people find inside the Dairy Master Tent? So we're delighted this year we're bringing uh, a number of new innovations to, to the ploughing this year. And uh, so we have um, our Swift Low Personalised Milking, we have our Robo Spray behind me here, and we have our DM3X Plus new uh, rotary parlour system. Yeah, and I suppose, like, these technologies now, so the heat sprayer we'll start with, um, it, it's obviously for a rotary system. Or is this a, if you're building a parlour, or can you retrofit it into an existing so, road if you have one? So the Robo Spray is designed for both new and existing installations. It can be retrofitted. Yeah. And the real key part of that, from our point of view, is that it's fully integrated into the parlour. So it's integrated and based on our DairyView 360 platform, which basically means that, for example, when a cow is not being milked out properly, um, or the operator wants to retain that cow for to keep her on the platform for an inspection, the Robo Sprayer will skip that cow. When she comes around to the cups on position again, the teats are clean and dry for easy inspection and to re uh, reattach the cluster if that's required. Okay, and then in terms of the, the DM3X Plus, so it's a new rotary system. So what kind of market is this kind of part so of the target the, at? The DM3X Plus is really focused on the, the very large herds, um, high usage parlors. So a little typical of this would be herds with you know, a number of thousands of cows, uh, milking the cows three or four times per day. Um, really key part for, for these types of farms is continuous milking, no downtime. They don't really have time for, for maintenance or unscheduled stoppages. So we've got a real focus on the redundancy, the reliability, and it's a robust stainless steel construction. It's based on our patented rotor glide system. Um, you can see with the low profile bale, we're focused on making it easy for cow flow. So the cows can easily uh, get on and get off the platform. It's really easy for cow comfort point of view. And then you can see the smart switch here. So from the operator's point of view, real quick feedback, push button operation, very simple, visual feedback. But yet all the data has been captured and then it's been presented on our Dairy View 360 platform, both yeah. beside the operator on our DM Live View and also in the farm office or remote room. Yeah. And I suppose like so this is probably a more of an international product, probably not too many herds in the country here are gonna be Yeah, there will be some the, there will be some interest in, in Ireland and, and in the home markets for that, but it very definitely is uh, much more of an international uh, even outside of Europe would be yeah. very definitely focused on this product. And then in terms of the animal health products then, obviously you ha you've already ha you already had a number of animal health products. But like how important is that becoming part of your sales portfolio? Like obviously it's a massive focus now in a lot of farms. We see within breeding decisions in farms, farms have a big focus on breeding healthier cows. But breeding healthier cows also means getting sick cows earlier or getting to treatment earlier. Yeah, and look we, we we've been I suppose we've been dealing with that for, for a good few years with our move monitor system for fertility and uh, behaviour and health monitoring. But we've really taken that to a new level now with our Dairy View three sixty platform. And that's a complete herd management uh, platform for both the equipment and the animal. So it combines the milk productivity data and the health and fertility monitoring so the farmer can really see how each individual cow is performing. And tied in with that then on the, with the Dairy View 360 platform with the Swift Low Personalised Milking. And that's really allowing the farmer to focus in on the cow as an individual. So we can tailor the milking settings and we call it individual milking for individual cows. So we can basically maximise the, the animal welfare by making sure that we're targeting the milking settings for each cow depending on her, her age, her stage of lactation, uh, the milk flow rate. It allows the farmer to very quickly on this, you can see there behind me, on the Dairy View 360 app, the farmer can very quickly view things like bimodal flow, letdown times, yield deviations, and can also the farmer can also quickly select which group the, the, that cow should be in in terms of what other milking settings that are appropriate for that yeah. cow. Yeah, so I suppose there's a big focus on technology really. It's all, te like, obviously we hear a lot about kind of farm, farms are bigger now, a lot of farm, more cows, more management required and technology makes that a little bit easier. Yeah. So I suppose a lot of these products you're focused on are technology and improving technology on farms. Yeah, look, we're combining, we're, you know, we're still combining the, the equipment, but really putting the, the technology and the analytics, data analytics in there. So we're using artificial intelligence to really see how we can maximize the, the, the productivity on the farm, maximize the animal welfare, and really make help the farmer to make better management decisions. Yeah. And give the farmer actionable insights into what's happening on the farm. 
And in, in terms of, say, the, the Irish market here, what are the kind of trends we're seeing in terms of parlour sales or parlour installations or your sales and technology? What are what are, what are dairy farmers or farmers looking for? Yeah, look, there's no doubt that over the last year it's been very challenging, very uncertain time for dairy farmers. But we still see farmers looking to invest and looking to upgrade their farms and improve. I suppose the, the, the expansion phase of, of the Irish dairy industry is, is probably fairly well done now at this stage. But farmers are still looking to upgrade and improve what they, the equipment that they're working with, reduce the time in the parlour, reduce the time the cows are standing and collecting yard, and a lot of focus on the animal welfare side and how to, to do more with less, so maximise the productivity from the cows and from the herd and uh, you know get more targeted feed so for example our feed to yield system making sure that the the, the feed that's been added uh, on the farm or given to the cows in the parlor that that you're getting more of a benefit for that in terms of milk production um, and ultimately by having better animal welfare and better control of the animal welfare that you know you maximize the longevity of the cows by by making sure that the cows you're if they're sick you catch that sooner and all of that all combines from a, a sustainability point of view you know having the cows in the herd for longer uh, helps with the carbon footprint of the milk produced on the farm and with the overall sustainability of the farm. Yeah.